Our next guests are comedy pros, but they are nothing but serious about lovingly and publicly supporting their transgender daughter. Please welcome Colin Mockery and Deborah McGrath. Welcome Deborah and Colin. It's so great to have you both here. It's so lovely to be here. Thanks for having us. Yeah. So I'd love to know how sharing this journey with your child has changed each of you. Uh, Colin, let's start with you. Well, first of all, I've never used the word journey so much in my life. <laughs> um, and it's it's true. It has been an incredible journey. I think, um, I think the thing that is really honed in for me is how um, how I'm a better listener as a parent. I mean, I think this really focused because it was an area I was not fully versed in. I had to listen and learn from things Kinley was telling me, um, videos she would send us, articles. So I really learned how to listen to my daughter, how to listen to my child. And I guess for me, and I've said this to a lot of people, and it's the truth, I wouldn't have missed this experience for the world. It's been beyond a busting heart experience of joy. It's been such a learning experience, as Colin said, learning the things, the pronouns, the, the, the yes, the no's, but it's also been reminding myself of past transgressions, things when we were at Second City uh, in the, let's just say the 80s, for example, and things that we thought were funny that I can't even think of now that are so cringeworthy and it gives me the 3 a.m. regrets but I figure that's already passed you move forward and you spread the good word I love that and I love that you brought up Second City because those those there's something about accepting every offer saying yes and like yeah. like to make you receive that information from your child I would have to think that that there's something about the openness of the training that you have that as a parent, maybe even makes you more receptive to listening and hearing and just saying yes. I, I think it does. I mean, it certainly it helps you walk into situations with a fresh eye and not have any preconceived ideas. And it does teach you how to accept. And again, it comes back to listening um, and accepting what the person, it's not just the yes, it's the yes and. You, so you accept it and then you go from there and build upon that. So it, I, I think that really did help us having I that background. Too. I do too. And we were open to it, which helped immensely. And I think um, there were many, many months of us asking her questions, listening to her tell us things, and we're, huh, really? Okay, so that's a thing, all right. And then we'd practice and we'd, and we did a lot of our own research and passing things back and forth. And then we'd go to her, Kinley, can you say this? Or this, uh, this um, uh, sort of gender identification, what's the difference between this one and that one? In the case of, gender identity, et cetera, it is living and living on because it's going to continue to evolve. Now it's getting ridiculous. I'm really sick of hearing that, folks, because it's not getting ridiculous. Don't say it. Don't say Don't it to say her. Don't say it to me. It. Do not. If someone has found something that speaks to who they are, good, good. It may seem ridiculous to you, but it's given a person who has lost a home something that goes, this is who I am. That's fine with me. Well, I really, really cannot thank you both enough for being here today. Uh, you are such a, such a model to so many people uh, walking this path. And uh, just thank you. Thank you for being you. Oh, oh thank you so much. Thanks. I mean, it, we constantly talk about how weird it is to be um, admired for loving your child. I know. It, it really is the most natural thing in the world. So do it. Yeah. It, it, it really, it, there's nothing simpler than just loving your child and you want them to be happy. And our daughter uh, is just so incredibly oh, happy. So she's just bursting with happiness. And I, I think to myself, um, when people talk about, you know, did it bother you? First of all, we never invested in our child's gender. It's her life and it's her business. I always said I was invested in her humanity. 
I don't care how she identifies. It doesn't change anything for us. It's her life and her path. Better words never spoken. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.